Holy Spirit, we thank you. We thank you for everybody that is tuning in on Facebook. We thank you for everybody that is tuning in on YouTube and TikTok. Holy Spirit, we thank you, Lord, that your name is going to be glorified this morning. Your name is going to be lifted up yet again in Jesus' mighty name. Shokari abasoto kode me shata kalabaya. Likro soto kote kete kidabaya. Roje ge de 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 basoko te kedi amasonda. Leki shokata karia basete kedi amasete. Leke se kete kidabaya sonda. He kalabra sonda kadi amasonda. Guys, can we keep tap on the screen and make sure we get more people in the broadcast? Let's get more people uh, going into the broadcast so that the gospel can be spread effectively and to all the corners of the earth. Let's get more countries in. Hallelujah. I see some people from South Africa. I see some people from Maputo. I see some people from Nigeria. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I see some people from the United States also on other channels in Jesus' mighty name. The people from UK, I hear it doesn't matter the distance it also does not matter what time zone you are in you just plug in you know that the anointing of god will be waiting to connect with you in jesus mighty name kashoka dia baseke loko rosheke tekida baya rakosonda dia basanda we are on a day 20 of our 31 days of grace and favor you see what i'm doing as well i'm also sharing the live broadcast in jesus mighty name so make sure that you are doing the same thank Thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We're going to get going any minute from now. I'm going to let the people on Facebook also have the privilege of seeing us being active this morning. Amen, somebody. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Today is a glorious day. This is day 20. Hallelujah. Today, the message is unstoppable glory. Make sure you are tapping, make sure you are typing that. Amen. Make sure you are sharing the live broadcast. But more importantly, I want you to engage. I want you to engage with the word. I want you to engage with the prayers. I want you to engage in the tapping because every single tap that you're saying, every time you are power tapping, we are getting more feed. So focus on that. Just typing and engaging with the word, praying along and tapping on the screen and make sure that you are communicating with me. Amen. If you are taking notes, we are talking about the unstoppable glory. My inspiration from this morning comes from two different scriptures. I will read both of them. I think both of them are from Isaiah. Hallelujah. The first scripture comes from Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1. It is a very popular um, a scripture. It says, "My um, arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. I believe as we rose up this morning, there's a glory that has risen upon us. The scripture God wants us to, uh, to, to heed this morning is that we should arise and shine. Our destiny is in rising and shining. Hallelujah. He, he, he makes sure that anytime grace and favor begins to operate, we are operating in grace and favor and we rise and shine. Good morning, Miss M. God bless you. Anna, this is unstoppable glory. Yes. Make sure you are typing in the comment section to let everybody know who's tuning in that we are talking about the unstoppable glory. Today we are releasing into the heaven spaces, unstoppable glory glory. Talk to me. Hallelujah. So we know that we definitely have an assignment to arise and shine each and everyone who's at the sound of my voice. If you have been sleeping spiritually, if you have been sleeping even physically for the past few months, this month of May, do not allow yourself to go into a spiritual sleep. Do not allow yourself to close your mouth from making positive declarations. This is the month to make positive declarations and to make positive prayers concerning your life. This is the day and the, and the, and the night and the season for unstoppable glory for you this morning. This is day 20. This is your day of unstoppable glory. Talk to me, somebody. Do not allow your mouth to sleep. Do not close your mouth from making positive declarations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We thank you for making sure that our mouth is going to bring us joy. We are going to declare, we are going to pray, and we are going to make sure that we release joy into our life. Somebody say unstoppable glory. If you are in the comment section, make sure you are typing unstoppable glory impaired thank you so much for following the host as well it's a different thing for you to arise and a different thing for that light to shine. Hallelujah. So it is very possible that sometimes you can arise and but your light does not shine. So because some people think that they can stop at rising only. But when you arise, you are rising from a particular situation. You are arising for, uh, from circumstances that are not desirable. You are arising from the place where you needed to dust yourself. You are arising from the pit that they had dug you in. And you are saying, I'm unstoppable this morning. There is an unstoppable glory that is going to be seen. Thank you so much 
much, Nesta. Anna, I see you. Nesta, thank you so much. God bless you. Gundo, unstoppable glory is your portion this morning. Wanda, unstoppable glory is your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the month of May, our month of grace and favor. 31 days of grace and favor, day 20. This is the month that we are moving forward. This is the month that the Lord has made for you and me. You, we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day you woke up to experience unstoppable glory. I declare and I decree that God will scatter every agenda of the enemy this morning for you. God will scatter every agenda of the enemy for your life today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will scatter the agenda of the enemy to make you unstoppable for your entire family in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord is going to release whatever the enemy has been holding in his hands to make sure that you experience unstoppable glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, even as we begin, as you are coming in, we are talking about unstoppable glory. Spiritual favor is going to rest on you this morning. Spiritual counsel is going to rest on you this morning. Spiritual power is going to rest on you in this morning. Come upon me this month of May in the name of Jesus and you will move forward and you will experience unstoppable glory, says the Spirit of the Lord. Every arrow of poverty and sickness will be dealt with this morning because you have unstoppable glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Then the second scripture, this is probably the most important scripture that will set the scene for us for unstoppable glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for healing somebody of their eyes this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 6 to 7. Somebody type Isaiah chapter 43, verse 6 to 7. Talk to me, somebody. The Bible says, I will say to the north, give them up. And to the south, give them up. Talk to me. Are we talking? Are we tracking together today? Make sure you are tracking together with me. Make sure you are going to pronounce this word. I will say to the north, give them up. I will say to the south, give them up. Do not hold them back. Hallelujah. Listen to this prophetic word. It says, do not hold hold them back. Give them up. The enemy has to give you up. Your goods have been have to be given up. He says nothing. Do not hold them back. Don't hold back my possessions. Oh, Do not hold back my possession. Bring my sons from far away. Bring my daughters from far away. Bring my daughters from the ends of the earth. Hallelujah, somebody. Everybody who is called by my name, whom I have created for my glory, bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them back. Do, do not hold them back. Give them up. Release them. Hallelujah. So God is saying, as you rise in his glory, as you arise in this unstoppable glory, he says that the enemy cannot keep you captive. The enemy cannot keep you behind. There is grace and favor speaking for somebody this morning. The Lord says, wherever you are, wherever you are located from the ends of the earth, he will have to give you up. The Lord says the enemy will have to give you up. The enemy will have to give your goods up. The enemy will have to give up, up your destiny wherever they are holding you back. Everyone who is called by my name, I believe everyone who is called by the name of Christ is here this morning. He's talking about Pastor Fortune. He's talking about Apostle Mara. He's talking about Miss M. He's talking about pet mungwena hallelujah he will have to give you up. He says, who I have formed and whom I have made. God is protective over his creation. He is protective over us because he has called us his children. He says, I have formed them for my own good. I didn't form them so that you can play around with them. I did not form them so that they can be have, experiencing like I did not form them so that they can become nobodies. Come on, somebody. Make sure you are tapping on that screen. Shokatiya Masonda. You will experience unstoppable glory this morning. Hallelujah. We will experience unstoppable glory. Father, restore back the lost glory of every single person that is in this place in the name of Jesus. Father, I agree. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for reassuring us that every single form of lost glory is being restored right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Make sure you are typing that. Amen. Today we preach and pray at the same time. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah unstoppable glory overcomer unstoppable glory pk perfect unstoppable glory mopi hallelujah somebody unstoppable glory father take me to the next level pray that together with me my father my father take me to the next level for my glory in the mighty name of jesus christ take me to my next level of unstoppable glory so that i have a shine in my, in my face i have a shine on my life hallelujah i am shining in the name of jesus christ unstoppable glory child of god is the type of glory that can never be stopped it is a kind of glory that is unstoppable, meaning that if any event, can, any event that can happen in your life cannot stop your glory. Tell your neighbor unstoppable glory.
The Lord is taking you to your next level. Tell your neighbor, unstoppable glory. Hallelujah. If your glory was stoppable, they would have aborted you right from your mother's womb. But your glory was not stoppable. The fact that you survived, the fact that you woke up this morning, the fact that you are breathing, the fact that you are on this broadcast, the fact that you were scrolling and you did not know what you were looking for and you stopped on this broadcast, stay here and chill. Your glory is unstoppable because God wants you to hear something this morning. Talk to me, somebody. They would have aborted you right from your mother's womb. But glory, glory had to step in. Glory means honor won by a notable achievement. Honor took over the abortion. Honor said, no, this one shall be honored. This one has unstoppable glory. Talk to me, somebody. In the book of Judges chapter 13, 14, and 15, an angel announced the birth of Samson. A special announcement was made just for Samson, but carelessness and disobedience made Samson to lose his glory. May you never lose your glory like Samson in Jesus' mighty name. So we see this magnitude announcement in the book of Judges. Samson is going to be born. Samson is going to achieve one, two, three. Samson has the blueprint that is beautiful before God and man. Samson but did decide that he was going to disobey. And by disobedience, by carelessness, he loses his glory. May that never be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because yes, there are people who have lost their glory by carelessness. The Lord would want us to know. Every form of witchcraft, every form of witchcraft, witchcraft that is standing on your glory. It will be cut off in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So as you continue to type in that comment section, your amen or unstoppable glory, unstoppable glory. Samson lost glory, but mercy located me. Somebody say mercy locate me. Somebody type in that comment section, mercy locate me. I may be careless. I may fornicate. I may miss my way. I may miss my mark. I may commit sin. I may commit the wrong decisions or take the wrong decisions and build Business. But Lord, let mercy locate me because I cannot afford to miss my glory. Mercy locate me. Somebody say mercy locate me. I like people who are typing fast because they say, I woke up. I'm not messing around with the devil this morning. Mercy located someone. When mercy located Samson, he located his glory. His glory got back. But he didn't, uh, uh, he, he couldn't use it because he died with his enemies. Hallelujah. He still experienced victory, but he still died with his enemies. So child of God, mercy is locating you. You will not have the same destiny path. You will, you will make sure that your destiny is achieved. You will have unstoppable glory to achieve what you need to achieve. Carelessness and disobedience are things we need to be very careful about. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will not be stopped. Tell your neighbor, unstoppable glory, un unstoppable glory by virtue of mercy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Let your hand of mercy take you, uh, take us out from any glory defeating purpose, any glory defeating decision, any careless decision in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that your hand of mercy will bring somebody out this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This evening, wherever they are in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree that your unstoppable glory is released by virtue of mercy in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody shout a loud amen. Shout that loud amen. Amen and amen. When you read in the book of Esther, the king wanted the queen to come and show her beauty, but pride came upon her and the king got angry and he chased her out of the palace and her glory was stopped. Some people have missed their glory because of pride. I spoke about pride this week during the week. Go and listen to how pride is a destiny killer. The, 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 the queen Vashti she missed her unstoppable glory because she was proud. Mm, Father, by your mercy, let everybody who is listening to the sound of vo your vo my voice, hallelujah, let their glory not be replaced, oh God. In Jesus' name, your glory will not be re replaced. In Jesus' mighty name. And when I track with the word of God, I get to the book of 2 Kings chapter 5 verse 27. And I see that Gehazi lost his glory because of covetousness. Most people's glory has been stopped because of their unquenchable desire to eat and drink. Covetousness has opened many people to a lot of mistakes uh, from their enemies. They fall prey to a lot of mistakes to their enemies. Hallelujah. 
The blood of your biological parents cannot take you anywhere, but the blood of Jesus, I want to announce to somebody, is the blood that you need to transmit you to the next level. It is the blood that you need that will replace the blood that the doctors said that has got a disease, that have that they said it has a cancer. Today, receive the blood of Jesus for that unstoppable glory. is unstoppable. It has to be unstoppable to be seen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whatever type of ancestral blood exchanges, it cannot stop you in the name of Jesus. My question is, what is inside of you? There is the blood that you were born with from your parents. There is the blood that you decided to take up along the way when you decided to say, I'm going to be a born again child of God. There is an unstoppable glory. You made a blood exchange. The blood of Jesus came inside of you. When you said, Jesus, come inside of my life. Come and live and be Lord over my life. Live inside my heart. Exchange my genetics. Exchange my DNA. The blood of Jesus. Somebody shout the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood of Jesus will have to speak this morning. What are you doing in one spot if the blood of Jesus is inside of you? What are you doing in one spot when destinies are waiting for you? Ch nations are waiting for you. You are staying in one location. You are a local champion and you know you are called to the nations. What are you doing in one destination when the blood of Jesus is inside of you? The Bible said when Jesus was born, men saw the glory of God and they bowed. When Jesus appeared, men saw the glory of God and they bowed. Out. That will be your portion in this month of 31 days of grace and favor. In this year, 2023, when they see you, they must see your unstoppable glory. When they see you, they must bow because they know somebody with authority, with dignif dignified notability, who is called of God, who is humble yet. Yes, they must respect you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They must see the results of God on you. Talk to me, somebody. In the book of Hosea, the Bible says, as they increase, so they they are sin, so, so they sinned against me. Therefore, I will change their glory into shame. That shall not be your portion. Because God hates sin. I say it as I hear it. So anytime the Holy Spirit interrupts me for rebuke, just know that I just make sure you are listening. And if that is you, you need to repent. So God says, anytime you increase your sin gauge anytime your sin gauge goes he says i change their glory into shame may your glory not to be changed into shame can you pray that prayer with me right now father thank you lord by me arising this morning i am here on this broadcast i am praying oh god let my glory not be replaced by shame not even by the devil let not the enemies the agent of the devil any power let them not exchange my glory into shame kasho kodia masata so saints, when God starts blessing you, when God starts lifting you up, you must be humble. Hallelujah. So that your glory is not exchanged into shame. When God starts blessing you, when God starts lifting you up, respect God with it. Respect the blessings of God. Respect the unstoppable glory that he puts on you. Hallelujah, somebody. So many people have stopped their glory because of sin. Hallelujah. Sin has stopped many people be, uh, from their unstoppable glory. Oh, Jesus, help us, Jesus. The story of Joseph, God shows us that he showed his future to him and what he will be. But he did not allow sin to stop him. Let us learn from the example of Joseph in the Bible. He did not allow sin to stop him. He was tempted despite all that was happening around him. He knew where he was going. Tell your neighbor, do you know what you, where you're going? Ask your neighbor, do you know where you're going? Do you know where you're going? Because if you know where you're going, you don't have time to mess around with people who have no purpose. If you know where you're going, you don't have time to mess around with people who are just couch potatoes watching TV all day and eating chips all day. When you know where you are going, you don't have time to take to 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 let your health go and 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 to let your health suffer. When you know where you are going and you know what your children need, you know that you have to stand in the gap for them. You have to pray for them. You know that you have to make sure that your children make it. When you know where you are going, you don't have excuses to say the government must do one, two, three for you. When you know where you're going, you don't. You know that despite the economies of the world and whether they go down or up, because, despite the the inflation going up or down, you know that you have to make it. You know that your children have to make it.
You start making plans for your children to have bursary scholarships, to go wherever they need to go. Stop sleeping on your duty. Stop sleeping on your glory. Oh, Rabbi Asakatakari. Somebody tell your neighbor, unstoppable glory. Hallelujah. Your glory shall not be changed to shame, Miss M. Oh, Bugera, your glory shall not be changed to shame in Jesus' mighty name. One day your glory shall not be changed to shame. You have unstoppable glory. You are going. Wonder God is bringing you out from the familiar. God is saying, do not attach yourself to the average where you have seen your family end. It is not your ending. Hallelujah. Talk to me, somebody. Wonder. Unstoppable glory. God is releasing you to a new dimension. He says where you are is too average. The environment around you is very limiting even when you are looking. Job was another unique man. The accuser of the brethren tried to stop him, but God intervened on his behalf. He lived a healthy and righteous life and Job understood that his redeemer lives. And as long as his redeemer lives, his glory was unstoppable. Tell your neighbor unstoppable glory. That is your portion. As you are typing it, you are actually confessing it for yourself. Unstoppable glory. If you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, there is no way you can claim unstoppable glory. There is no way your glory will shine. So if I was you, I would just make up my mind and say, Jesus, you are mine. I'm born again right now in Jesus' name. The king of glory came to the world to save mankind. Receive him. He was battered. He was killed. He was buried. He came to save mankind. And on the third day, the Bible says that he rose again. Hallelujah. There is an, an unstoppable glory that opened that, that grave and made sure that he walks through the wall. God brought him out. God gave him a name that is above every other name. And that is the name that at every name, every time we mention the name of Jesus Christ, every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess. His glory shall be unstoppable. They thought that they had stopped him by killing him and burying him. But God. Oh, But God, hallelujah. God came through for him. Somebody say, God is coming through for me. God come through for me. God come through for me. Hallelujah. They cannot stop you as long as God is going to come through for you. If the glory is buried, child of God, there is no way it can shine. That is why you must come out of the grave. Hallelujah. If Jesus, this is something significant. This is an illustration that the Bible gives us to say, when you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life and say, Jesus, you are my Lord and Savior. I'm coming out with you. I am resurrecting with you because I want my glory to shine. My shining must be visible. People must see my progress. People must see I must matter. I must make an impact to my community. I must be influential to my community. Talk to me, somebody. Oh, Jesus. The Lord will come through for you, Ben Solomon. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is coming through for you, Gundo. Your glory must shine. You cannot remain in the grave. You cannot be pulled in the grave. You cannot be maintained in the grave. You are coming out of the grave in Jesus' mighty name. If the stone will not roll, go through the wall. Famine wanted to stop Isaac in the strange land. He was confused. God come through for me. We see Isaac that he, he faced what his father also faced. Until God spoke to him. Until God gave him instructions. I don't know what instructions you are waiting for. I, you need to ask God so that you don't miss your mark. So that your glory is unstoppable. So Isaac was facing what his father faced until he heard a voice from God. God spoke to him. God gave him instructions and he reaped a hundredfold. He did not have to suffer. You don't have to suffer what your parents suffered in Jesus' mighty name. And friendly friends can stop your glory, children of God. Be careful of the type of friends that you have around you. And friendly friends can stop your glory even in marriage. Wrong marriage can stop your glory. The wrong person that you will marry, if you, you might marry, if you don't seek the Lord's counsel, may stop your glory. Whether you are a man or a woman. So you need to allow God to cut off some relationships from your life for your glory to shine. There are some friends you don't need around you. You don't need to go out with them. You don't need to be hanging around with them because they will destroy your life and they will destroy your family's life. They will destroy your marriage as well. Mm. So God has ordained someone to be the ladder to your glory. The ladder of your glory. Somebody has been ordained this morning. 
Those people will never look at your mistakes. Those people will never look at your mistake. A man was at the pool of Bethesda for 38 years. But when Jesus appeared to help him, in 38 seconds, he was healed. And at that point, Christ was the ladder to that man's glory. I don't know who's your ladder to your glory. I don't know whether this broadcast, this protocol breaking prayers atmosphere is the one that you needed to let you know that your ladder to your glory has come this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this night where Wherever, whichever country you are in, right now, begin to see your letter of glory. Jesus is in the house, the unstoppable person who is going to lead you up that letter of glory, that one who will not pull you down, that one who will not remove the staircase. Oh, Jesus, thank you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord, that you have lighted the path of everybody who has tuned in this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we declare that you light our path from now on to know, to, be, to be sure that we will not miss our ladder of glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare that any glory that is caged in darkness to everybody who is listening to the sound of my voice, if your glory has been caged in darkness, hear me and hear me well. Now and shine in the name of Jesus, your glory that has been caged in darkness. Right now, I command it to come out now. 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 Come out now and shine in the name of Jesus. When it comes out, it has no option to but to shine. If it's in the darkness, it will be the moon. If it is in the daytime, it will be the sun. It must shine. Your glory must shine. It's coming out from every cage of darkness in Jesus' mighty name. Make sure you are shouting that amen well. Oh, Shakadia Masunda. Somebody declare with me, my father, my father, my glory shall not be turned to rags in the name of Jesus. My father, my father, my glory will not turn to rags in the name of Jesus. Wherever my glory is buried, wherever my glory is buried, come out now, come out now. I don't know why the Lord is making me stop here. That glory has to come out. People, yo, I don't know who you are. Father, I speak to every altar, every shine that has buried the glory of somebody who's listening to the sound of my voice right now. I command that glory to come out. You have no option but to come out in the name of Jesus. You are coming out and you are shining. And that person shall become unstoppable in the mighty name of Jesus. Shout a believing amen. Oh, your glory must shine. Wonder, I, 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 I have removed whatever they put down, the, the nails that they had put down to tie down your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it is unhinged. It is coming out. That glory is coming out in Jesus' mighty name. Anywhere my glory has stopped me, anywhere they stopped it in the mighty name of Jesus I activate you right now in the mighty name of Jesus come on open up your mouth right now I activate my glory anywhere you have been stopped in the mighty name of Jesus Christ right now you are activated 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 come out come out come out and shine I activate my glory wherever they stopped you in the name of Jesus I activate you I activate you right now that person who's listening Listening to me, I activate your glory wherever they stopped it. I activate it in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, every satanic form of policing, monitoring spirits that have been arresting your glory, you are a liar. You have been arresting their glory. I am telling you this morning, you are a liar. Release them now. Release that glory right now. Any power, any monitoring spirit, any satanic police that has been holding down their glory right now, we are telling you, you are a liar. Release our glory. Release my glory. Release my glory. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Every form of deceitful habit that has been designed to kill you and to kill your glory, you are a liar. In the name of Jesus, let's talk to that deceitful habit, that habit, that addiction that wants to deceive us, that addiction that does not want us to see our unstoppable glory. You are a liar. You are a liar. You are a liar. Oh, my God. I speak to every deceitful habit that wants to take away our glory. You are a liar. 
you will not take my glory. In the name of Jesus, I will conquer. I will be stronger. I will live a holy life. Oh, Rabbi Shikonda, I will be pleasing in the sight of God. I will be the friend of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I remove every satanic blanket that is covering your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus right now, as you type that amen well, I said every satanic blanket that has been covering your glory from shining right now, it is removed. In the mighty name of Jesus, by reason of the anointing that is on this broadcast this morning, Lord, let your ladder of glory appear now. Let your ladder of glory appear now. Take me to the place where I need to be. Let the ladder of glory appear now. Come on, declare that with me. My ladder of glory appear. Take me to the top. I'm meant for the mountain top. My ladder of glory appear now. I'm meant for a mountain top. I am a city set upon a hill. I cannot be hidden. My light shall not be put under a bushel. Ah, I am unstoppable. I have unstoppable glory. I have undeniable changes. Undeniable glory. I'm meant for a mountaintop experience. I will be seen. My efforts will not be in vain. My career shall be seen. My victories will be seen. In the name of Jesus. I will bear the, 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 the evidence of being a believer. I have authority in God. My ladder of glory appear now in the mighty name of Jesus. By reason of this anointing this morning, by reason of the anointing this night, in the name of Jesus. Mm. The Lord will cover your nakedness in the name of Jesus Christ to make sure that your glory will overlap you and overwhelm you and over envelope you and your glory shall shine in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, appear, my ladder of glory appear, my ladder of glory appear in Jesus' mighty name. Are we praying together, saints? Are you tapping on that screen? Let's take those likes up again. Let's make sure we are getting people in here. Let's make sure we are depopulating hell. Let's make sure that we are populating heaven. Oh, shake hand. Somebody's glory needs to be uncovered. Somebody needs to know that they have unstoppable glory. As you type in that comment section, unstoppable glory, unstoppable glory. Everyone that wants to stop you before sunrise, before sunset, they will die in the name of Jesus. Everywhere your glory has been buried in the grave, they are coming out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Oh, Rabbi Shakanda, if you have not achieved anything in this year, i up until this far, up until this month, up until this 20th day of the 31 days of grace and favor. If you have not achieved anything since you have been born, if you have not achieved anything from the beginning, you have no achievements to start for, to show from, from now. Hallelujah. From now, I want to tell you that you will have a turnaround because says God says that you are unstoppable and an unstoppable glory is coming upon you. And as it comes, you will have something to show. You will, your achievements will speak for themselves. Whenever they try to suppress and cover your glory, God is going to uncover it. You will be recognized and acknowledged for the work that you did. They've been, some of you have been trying. Some people, your colleagues have been trying to hide your glory so that the bosses don't know what you do. Father, anybody that is standing against us in the area of promotion, in the area of visibility, in the area of acknowledgement for what we are doing and how we are changing lives, Father, remove those people. Remove those people. Let them be removed in the next four days. In the next four days, God deal with those people. Let calamity, your wrath, let it deal with them in Jesus' mighty name. The, the person that is supposed to recognize you, the person that is supposed to acknowledge you will receive bad news about the people that have been blocking your prosperity, people that have been blocking your promotion, people that have been lying about you. Come back and testify because I know you are here. Kathy, you will testify. Hallelujah. Oh, I bind you, spirit of evil, in the mighty name of Jesus. So kare be sheke teki daba. E daba ya so kore ya. In the name of Jesus. So kore ya basonde dia masonda. You will be an achiever in Jesus' mighty name. 
You will be an achiever in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be an achiever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mercy will locate you. Mercy will wipe out your carelessness in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody declare in the comment section, unstoppable glory. Unstoppable glory. Unstoppable glory. In the name of Jesus. So Koryama Tequila Basata. Hey, Jesus. Mercy will locate you. Carelessness shall be removed in Jesus' mighty name. You will see the end of your enemies. Your enemies will not see the end of you. Somebody declare in the comment section, unstoppable glory. Hallelujah. The hand of mercy is bringing you out of any form of carelessness, any form of error that you have committed, any mistake in the name of Jesus Christ. So kalabaya. Your glory that was not shining before will begin to shine now in Jesus' mighty name. Unstoppable glory. Unstoppable glory. Oh, shakata kadia masoto. Unstoppable glory. Before the sun rises tomorrow, you will experience unstoppable glory. Unstoppable glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, every mark of destruction. Oh, somebody lay your hands on your forehead right now. Every mark of destruction on your forehead, it is wiped away in the mighty name of Jesus. It is wiped away now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every force. Every form, every force of destruction that is on your forehead right now, it is wiped away in the mighty name of Jesus. Any force of darkness that has been sent to monitor your life, if they refuse to repent, this earth will open up and swallow them in the mighty name of Jesus. Favor, God bless you. This earth will swallow anybody, any force of darkness that is hiding anywhere, anywhere they are monitoring your life. Right now, they will be swallowed up by this earth in Jesus' mighty name. Let the earth open up and swallow everyone who's been fighting your destiny in Jesus' name. Everyone that has made an evil vow against your glory. Right now, they are being swallowed up by the earth right now. Their graves are waiting for them. Their graves are dealing with them. Their graves might not even be in the physical, but you will see frustration in their lives because God has a way of dealing with people that even you, you will end up feeling sorry for them. Somebody type unstoppable glory. Grace, yes, you are coming with fire. My Zag, unstoppable glory. Unstoppable glory. As from now, your glory will not be stopped anymore. Somebody say unstoppable glory. Jackie, unstoppable glory for you in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Shakodia Masunda. Moses the billionaire, unstoppable glory. I'm trying to see the other messages. Okay, it was it had it was hanging on the other channel. Ori Kasokoti. Unstoppable glory, Dimpo, for you. Unstoppable glory for those of you who are on TikTok. Unstoppable glory for those of you who are on YouTube and Facebook. Unstoppable glory. Everyone that has made an evil vow against your glory, right now they die. Whatever form that God chooses to deal with them, deal with them, O God. Unstoppable glory. As from now, no power will stop you anymore. Listen to what the Spirit of God says. He says, do not look at where you are coming from. He says, look at where I'm taking you to. Unstoppable glory. Look at where I'm taking you to. Every single form, every arrow of poverty, in the mighty name of Jesus, every arrow of sickness, every arrow of shame, every arrow of death, every arrow of affliction, every arrow, arrow of death, in the name of Jesus, any arrow, whatsoever you are, that you have been fired against my life to stop my glory. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Go back to sender in the name of Jesus Christ. It will not prosper. I will not live in death. I will not be poor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My glory will shine in Jesus' mighty name. You will not live a life of debt where you are called by creditors left and center. You are scared to answer your phone. You cannot do it by yourself, Jackie, but God can do it for you. God can recover your stolen glory. God can recover your, your hidden glory. This morning, as you have come into this broadcast, as you have chosen to partner with this ministry, I hear the Lord say he is lifting you up. Jackie, bless Kashakata. Your offerings will speak for you. Your, 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 your offerings, whatever you have given, it will speak for you in Jesus' name. Unstoppable glory is your portion. The Lord says he's giving them back. They have to, they have to release them from the north and the south. They have to give them back, give them back, give them back. Oh, Shakatiya.
and stop glory you will testify i will hey you will come and testify i love that hallelujah kashonda Seraphine, hallelujah you will come back and testify kiwe godfrey you will come and back and you are coming back to testify unstoppable glory hallelujah talk to me somebody your time has come to arise and shine your time has come to arise and shine in this month of may oh you are moving from glory to glory in the mighty name of jesus christ you will testify in this month of May, you will not walk in darkness. You will walk in the light and you will shine. You will arise and shine. The vehicle of your glory will not break down in Jesus' mighty name. I said your vehicle of glory will not break down in Jesus' mighty name. I hand you over to favor. I hand you over to grace. You will be favored by men. You will be favored by God. Helpers of destiny will come from all directions in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I release what the month of May has been holding for you. In the name of Jesus, you will testify. Oh, unstoppable glory. Somebody say unstoppable glory. Father, I thank you for these ones that have tuned in this morning. I declare, Lord, that their light has come and their path shall shine brighter and brighter in in Jesus' mighty name. They are favored. They are graced. Their vehicles will not break down in Jesus' mighty name. They are rising on unstoppable glory. Sadie, you are unstoppable. In the name of Jesus. PK, you are unstoppable. Gundo, you are unstoppable. Wanda, you are unstoppable. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kathy S, talk to me. I want to see those prayer requests because as I declare right now, and I'm about to close in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I release an unstoppable glory that will take care of every single prayer request in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, I release an unstoppable glory that will wipe away your tears in the name of Jesus Christ. No more tears. Tell your neighbor, no more tears. No more tears. No more tears. No more tears. Unstoppable glory is your portion. No more tears. The Bible says he will swallow up death and abolish it for all time. And the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces and he will wait. He will take away the disgrace from his people, from all the earth. The Lord has spoken. The Lord is speaking this morning. He's saying he's taking away every form of tear from your eyes right now and replacing it with unstoppable glory. Right now, the Lord is removing every form of shame and disgrace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No more tears, Lyra, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is saying no more tears. Somebody needs to hear that unstoppable glory has come. There shall not be tears of sorrow that you will cry. You will cry tears of joy. Eh, my father. Anything that we have done that have brought tears of sorrow. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, we ask for your mercy right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we ask for your mercy, Lord, to wipe away all the tears of sorrow. We ask for your mercy, Lord, to shake away every form of disgrace, every form of of reproach every form of shame in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Lord as you have said in your word you will swallow up death in victory the Lord will wipe away your tears in, in all your faces in Jesus mighty name the Lord will rebuke everyone who's trying to make you cry this month you will experience unstoppable glory Oh, somebody say it. No more tears. No more tears. No more tears. The Lord wants me to reassure somebody that you will have no more tears. Hallelujah. No more tears of sorry. I don't know where your life is right now. But you have been full of tears. Every day you are waking up and you are crying. But the Lord says there is a, there is a level. There is a dimension. There is a place called unstoppable glory that I want you to get to in the name of Jesus. I will swallow up death. I will swallow up every negative doctor's report. I will swallow up every form of of tears that you have been crying in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, people cry at one time or another. And yes, people cry because of sorrow at one time or another. Sometimes they cannot even say it to anybody. You cannot tell the people what you're going through. You are even so ashamed because you're saying if they knew what I was going through, they would not understand. I went to school with these people, but their lives seem to be better than mine. I also attained the same qualification, but it looks like I've been lost locked out of destiny's call. It looks like I've been locked out of the job that I am deserving. I am saying unstoppable glory will open that door in the mighty name of Jesus. If they knew how you were hustling to make that money, receive that bursary. I saw that prayer request in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord says no more tears, unstoppable glory. Receive your scholarship in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I just missed your name, but I saw that prayer request. The Lord has confirmed it in the name of Jesus Christ. No more tears. Hallelujah. Oh, unstoppable glory. 
every single form of pain whatever it is right now in the mighty name of Jesus that pain of barrenness receive unstoppable glory that will make sure that when you are known by your husband you will bear fruit the fruit of the womb shall bear results in the in Jesus mighty name we remove every form of barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ unstoppable glory hallelujah you will remove you we're removing every form of barrenness every spiritual barrenness every financial barrenness we speak to marital barrenness right now receive the anointing of unstoppable glory unstoppable glory in the name of Jesus Christ we speak to that barrenness in the area of finances in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we speak to that physical barrenness we speak to that emotional barrenness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ unstoppable growth glory will come in and give you life thank you black God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ no more tears Susie the Lord is wiping away your tears he says I've seen your, your tears at night when you are soaking up your pillow kariaba sonda Sende. Hey, Hannah was in so much pain and sorrow, and because she was barren, she was she wanted a child. But Hannah pushed. Hannah pushed and said, "There is an unstoppable glory. There is an unstoppable level that I know I can get to in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever seed of barrenness in your life, it is being uprooted now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every single form of barrenness in your life right now. That seed is being uprooted as you shout that Amen. Well, make sure you are typing that Amen. Well, make sure you are shouting that Amen. Well. Hannah understood that the seed of barrenness was working in her life and she needed to desperately reverse it. She needed a change. She needed the undeniable change that we prayed for yesterday. Hannah needed an undeniable, unstoppable glory. Right now, receive the same unstoppable glory that did not stop Hannah in the name of Jesus. Hannah was unstoppable. You are unstoppable. God is ready to bless you right now. Whatever you are desperately and violently praying about right now, the Lord says that I am ready to bless you with it in the name of Jesus. Yes, Mark, Lord, the Lord says he knows that your children need that education. He's uh, remembering your unstoppable glory. You will not fail to provide for your children in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever your efforts have been fruitless, they did not amount to anything. But today, the Lord would have me to tell you that right now, by the anointing of unstoppable glory, Sorry. Your efforts shall begin to bear fruit in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mark 1, it is settled. Mark 1, it is settled. Mark 1, it is settled. It is settled in Jesus' mighty name. Every form of fruitless effort in your life, it has come to an end this morning. Receive unstoppable glory in Jesus' mighty name. Father, bless them, Lord, that are at the sound of my voice. Bless every single one of them, O Lord. Put away our enemies. Put our enemies to shame, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, those of you who are listening to the sound of my voice and your hope is gone, you feel like your case has become hopeless, like the widow in Nain whose hope was lost before Jesus came to restore her. Right now, never look down on yourself. Talk to yourself right now. Let hope be restored. Against hope, Abraham believed in hope. It was counted to him as righteousness. Hallelujah. And the Lord who has sent the unstoppable glory, sent unstoppable glory to him in the name of Jesus. Right now, Father God, I pray for every person at the sound of my voice uh, that has been feeling like that all hope is lost. Uh, any person who's listening to the sound of my voice uh, who is saying, I have so much pain, Apostle. I have so much pain, Pastor. You don't understand the tears. Uh, the Lord is restoring to you right now. The Lord is restoring hope to you right now as you confess that unstoppable glory in the comment section unstoppable glory oh shake and yes there are things you have lost in your life there's that there are things that have caused you pain how am i doing for time i'm still so much there almost there hallelujah hallelujah every good thing that the devil has stolen from you rako shikonda it left you empty kalebe sonda please restore them back lord let them be restored right now in the name of jesus christ thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established and, and unto you hallelujah lord we decree it this morning we declare this morning a restoration of every Every stolen destiny, a, rest a restoration of every stolen glory, a restoration of anything, opportunities that were stolen from us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Restore them back by mercy this morning. Restore them back by, by mercy tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord says, He understands that there is so much, of so many of you are crying financially. So many of you are crying financially. 
And the Lord wants you to know that there is, you do not live by the economy of this world. You live with the economy of God and the economy of the heavens. Hallelujah. And we need to activate the economy of the heavens. Hallelujah. And when you activate the economy of the heavens, your mind will start thinking differently because God will show you opportunities in the midst of this recession. Am I communicating to somebody? Hallelujah. May the, the Lord give you that marital settlement. Hallelujah. I saw that prayer request in Jesus mighty name. May the Lord open you up, your eyes up to meet the right person and to discern whether it is the person that is in the will of God. Lira, thank you so much for that stability in your marriage in Jesus mighty name. As you have declared it, so shall it be in Jesus mighty name. No more tears. Unstoppable glory. No more tears. Mabato, unstoppable glory. Fana, unstoppable glory. Kathy, Lilomo, unstoppable glory for you in Jesus mighty name. So many feel empty right now. They feel empty financially. They cannot do much. They feel they cannot do much because they feel that there is no financial power and they're crying. When a woman notices that their marriage is, is, is not in the right place, or you can feel, or you can see, you know, you start crying. And you're saying there's no stability. I'm talking to those of you who are also sending this prayer request. Hallelujah. Yes. Uh, who is this? Let me see. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for non leba non leba receive the house for your children in Jesus' mighty name. They can never be homeless in Jesus' name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Restoration of marriage. The Lord says, I have heard your cries. Even if you are the one who made the mistake, the Lord says, I have heard your cries. Shukotia. Those in captivity, those in slavery, the Lord says there shall be no more slavery. The way that God heard the cry of the Israelites in Exodus, the way, Mama, to God bless you, the Lord heard the cry of the Israelites in the book of Exodus and determined that they were not going to be slaves anymore because they have an unstoppable glory. The way the Lord has heard your cry of finances, there is one common thing amongst believers and we need to correct it. There's too much prayer, crying, crying about money. May the Lord settle us this morning. Unstoppable glory in the area of finances in Jesus mighty name. Slavery, children of God, means someone is always borrowing. I break that thing that it will lead you anytime that you are even feeling to go to the debt collectors to go and borrow money. I break it now. Thank you, Miss Booth. Thank you so much. Thank you for those who are joining my team as well. Thank you for those who are following the host and turning on the notification bell. Please make sure, please, please, please make sure you also follow on the YouTube. Those of you who just joined us late, you can go and watch the replay on YouTube in Jesus mighty name. So slavery means that you are, you are in this bondage of always begging. You cannot achieve anything. Debt will not help you. There is a way that God will unlock doors for you without you borrowing money. Am I communicating? Oh, Shakati Abba. Prince James, I declare and I decree you are, you are delivered right now from that financial indebtedness in the name of Jesus Christ. You will see something. You will do something positive with your money. Your money will stop disappearing into thin air in Jesus' mighty name. And as I pray for James right now, you tap in into that same grace. You tap into that same ladder of glory that is being brought by God this morning in Jesus' mighty name. That ladder of glory is taking you out. Sarah, Seraphine, that ladder of glory is taking you out of that financial debt in Jesus' mighty name. Shokodia masota kadia. I saw that, pray, that, that prayer request. May the Lord give you a new job. May the Lord give you a new job in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because the Lord has seen your cries. And he will give you a job where you will be treated better. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Nongleba, for tapping into that grace. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Susie, thank you so much for confirming that is for you. In Jesus' mighty name. You will go to the new job. You will have a new level of unstoppable glory. You will be treated well. There will not, you will even wonder whether are you the worker there or are you the manager or are you the boss? Hallelujah. Talk to me, somebody. Every good thing that the devil has been withholding from you, anything that could not keep the Israelites in the land of slavery, any form of debt, you are coming out right now in the name of Jesus. I declare you are coming out of debt right now.
Oh, thank you, Jesus. DB19 will receive enough finances to pay off that mortgage bond. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will not have your house repossessed in Jesus' mighty name. Delisile, thank you so much that you are receiving a permanent job in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will not put you to shame. The Lord will not allow the devil to shame you that you are not allowed to, 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 to provide for your children in Jesus' mighty name. Your family shall have provision in the mighty name of Jesus. Kajo, you are blessed in the name of Jesus. Oh, Shakati Abasunda. Gloria Kantai, you are welcome and, and, and you are blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Shakali Abasunda. Every good thing that the devil has stolen from your life, uh, let, the, let him empty it. Let him empty whatever he has stolen. In the mighty name of Jesus, they are being restored back to you right now in Jesus' mighty name. You are coming out of dead, Serafina, right now. You are coming out of dead. May God give you the will and the and, 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 and that, that, that strength that you will not make the same errors again in Jesus' mighty name. You are coming out with your determination as you have declared it, you have made a vow unto God in Jesus' mighty name. Every yoke of the oppressors, right now it will break. The yoke of the creditors who have been calling you unnecessarily, it's not their phone. You talk to your phone from today and say, this is not your phone. Stop calling me. My debts are paid in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Kathy, I thank you. I thank the Lord on your behalf. You are released in Jesus' mighty name. May you receive new customers. Every yoke that has been binding your business right now in Jesus' mighty name. PK, perfect. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for giving PK in Jesus' mighty name. That permanent job in the mighty name of Jesus, that stability, Lord, that they are looking for in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Spirit, I thank you. I give you glory. That health that is in bondage, I re receive the glory of God right now. Unstoppable glory. That health that has been held in bondage, that has been giving you tears right now, receive your healing right now in Jesus' mighty name. Whatsoever form of any demonic architect, any demonic builder in your life, they cannot hold you down. They cannot hold you back in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I speak to every form of witcher, witches, wizardry, whatever has been done right now that has been stopping their glory. Right now, Lord, they are being loose from every cage in the name of Jesus. They are coming out of every grave that has been holding them down. That glory is coming out and they are shining this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Jesus, time is gone. Let me see. Let me see these prayers. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for alignment and restoration for Lyra in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, your children will travel this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will travel out. Their papers will be approved in Jesus' mighty name. Wherever their destiny is linking them to, Lord, they will have a better life in that different country. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Susan Mamwe, thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Unstoppable glory. As we are signing out, I want you to tag somebody and tell them unstoppable glory make sure you are following the account that you are uh, um, uh, watching from make sure you press on the host account and you click follow if you want to join my team you can click on that heart shape in or if you're on tiktok in jesus mighty name if you're on youtube you want a partner or you want to give there is a sign that is like a heart sign there that says thanks with a dollar sign make sure that you are giving your thanks they give give your offerings your tithes whatever you want to do whatever partnership that you want to commit to hallelujah you just do whatever you do best hallelujah whatever you are doing even if you don't have a sense if you're on this broadcast right now, what I want you to do, connect to my host account. If you connect to my host account, when you are done, connect to the people that have given. I want to teach you something. Whenever you despise something that somebody has, you will not get that thing. The anointing will not work for you. So every person that is gifted, whatever platform you are on right now, I want you to connect with them and I want you to pray for them. I want you to follow them and pray for them. And you say to them, unstoppable glory. I want you to take Jackie Bless. Those of you who are on Fortune L online, let me see who's here. Let me see who's here on um, TikTok. Those of you who are on Facebook, I want you to take somebody and um, uh, pray for them. Hallelujah. Who is this? Kalabashokodia. Karia. There is number one and number two here on Apostle Mara's thing. Please take that person. Hallelujah. Kodia Basoto Koshia Kata Kadia. Take that person and pray for them. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Lilomo, you are, you are in the spirit. Take that person. Take that person and pray for them. Take that person and stop glory for them. I want you to tap in. Tap in. We are releasing the chains of, that are financially uh, uh, binding us. Tap in Zama, unstoppable glory for you. Natasha Donza, unstoppable glory. Yes, unstoppable point of glory upon Sigel, Sigel Amen. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I speak to that pregnancy right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I commanded you will not miscarry in Jesus' mighty name. 
I speak that pregnancy right now. I speak to it. I stop that bleeding in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever the God has not ordained for you, if it is not your time to give birth, that bleeding stops right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Masunda. The Lord shall provide for your needs in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, I don't want to move past my time because I don't want to hold you back too much. Mama to God bless you. You are unstoppable in Jesus mighty name. You are unstoppable in Jesus mighty name. Somebody type in the comment section. It is my time to testify. It is my time to testify. Those of you who are on YouTube, those of you who are on Facebook, thank you so much for connecting in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let me see who's here in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody. Hallelujah. I see you. God bless you. God increase you. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Those of you who are on YouTube, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Kalabra Sunda. Edwin Matutu, thank you, Jesus. Kalabra Sunda. Ah, your letter of glory cannot disappear. It will appear now in Jesus' mighty name. Edwin, mm. you have been very consistent. The Lord is going to do something remarkable for you in this month. You will come back and testify in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you, Miss Boo. God bless you so much. Susan, thank you so much. God bless you guys. God bless you guys. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me see. Oh, Jesus. Let me see. Goodbye. YouTube, Facebook, thank you so much. If I stay on here, I know I'll be here the whole day. But God bless you. Have a beautiful day. Remember, you are awesome. Don't forget to be awesome. You will testify in Jesus' name. Edwin, you are going to testify in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah.